Good morning, everybody. How are you? I know I usually do my live videos a little earlier, but I haven't been feeling very well recently. This week was a hard week for me, and um, I just had to um, pull myself together and fight to stay on this side of, uh, you know, the journey. And um, today is a day where I'm feeling my best that I have. Pull it together. Woo, woo. Have I got some news for you? I have some news for you. Some of you, hopefully, when you wake up this morning, you will be on here and get this news. I'll probably leave a little tip in my community tab too, because I like to share when I when I catch some juicy bath body works tidbit. And I think this is a good one. In any event, you guys. Hey Courtney! <laughs> it's you and me tonight. It's you and me tonight. Um, I'm on here because, and I was just about to share this juicy, juicy piece of news for people who like to purchase candles from Bath and Body Works. If you saw in my community tab like a week or so ago, Bath and Body Works on Saturday, they had a, a secret sale where we were all passing out the code to people we know where you buy one candle, you get one. But you could only do that online. So the candles came out to be $10.50 each with shipping. So I'm like, $10.50 each, I think I can do better than that in store, or at least I can get that price in store. So I didn't go for it. Tomorrow at um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, can a certain portion of candles, the first fall candles to come out, are going to go on sale for $11.95 each. You're like, well, that's more than $10.50. Unless you have a coupon. Coo-coo-coo-coupon. If you have a 30% off, a 33%, a one-third percent off, 33% off coupon, 10 off 30, that brings the candles down to around $8.00 some change. So, so so less than the buy one get one online special. If you have a 25% off, which I think I have a 10 off 40 coupon, that brings the candles down to I think like $9. And if you have a 20% off coupon, that brings it down to the same as the buy one get one candle online. The candles then become about $10.50 each. So, you guys see that? Okay, it's, it's easy peasy, just like that. That's all you got to know, all you got to do. And the candle sales tomorrow. So with that in mind, I have my little list of candles and I want to go through. And I think I have like 18 candles here. And obviously somewhere between two and four candles is what I'm going to be able to manage, depending on which coupon they allow me to use. First on my list, I have warm apple pie. How rude of me. I'm so excited because I haven't been on in a while. I forgot to properly greet you guys. Let's get this done because we all need a blessing. Emmanuel, God is with us. And he kept me. This week, the devil tried to take me out, but God held me here. I may look a little battle scarred from the fight for life, but I'm here and um, praise God for that. So I just want you to know Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me in case you don't stay for this whole video. Okay, now, so you guys really gossip wise, I think Bath and Body Works is caving on that 14 50 candle thing. I don't think it's going as well as they imagine. I think the people who buy candles at 1450 are the same people who buy candles at 2450. I believe these are just the rich people or people with good credit 
who may or may not buy very many candles who just saunter into the store and pick up a few candles. So I think that they are finding that for those of us on a budget, they have outpriced this market. So they're trying to find ways to bring us back into the loop. And last year, candles, when they went on these kind of special sales, were $10.50. So now they're trying out the $11.95 and seeing how well it's going to go. So I think they're going to find maybe they need to reel themselves back in. Hello? Hello? Okay, so we'll start with the first candle I have here. It's an apple candle. Let me just tap on it so you can see it. You guys, I have an old, um, oh Lord, that's warm apple pie. And this candle has a four and a half star rating. It is a baked Granny Smith apple candle with melted brown sugar and a flaky homemade crust. I was thinking about this candle, but um, everybody says it's a light throw. If you want to irritate me, let me spend over $5 for a light throw candle. That, that's how you're going to really irritate me because the whole time I'm using this candle and I get between 30 and 45 hours out of my candles. I don't do that burn the candle all day, six hour thing. I'm fine with a candle that I can only have going for 20 or 30 minutes because that means I get to use that candle longer, you know, and enjoy it. I'm not in a rush to finish my candle. So for that reason, I'm thinking I'll try one of those other apple candles and see if I can find another apple pie candle that is stronger than warm apple pie. I like warm apple pie. I have the wall plug in and that is delicious but I use it in a small bathroom. I'm not gonna get a three foot candle and use it in the bathroom. So I think I'll rule that one off my list. Okay, now we will go on to the next candle that I was thinking about getting. Yeah, I got this. So I'm gonna just take this one off my list. So there it is, warm apple pie is gone. And next, we have a new candle that just came into store. It's called Nature Walk. And walk, oh, let me see. There you can see it, Nature Walk. The name sounds like a new, hey! <laughs> yeah, girl, we got, we got to stretch our pennies and quarters and live our best life. Courtney, we live better than a lot of people with a whole lot of money because sometimes when you just have everything, Life is boring, you don't get to plan, you get, you know, confused by all your choices. And, and sometimes those kind of individuals will not make the best choices. You and I, we have the blessing of enjoying everything we get because we treasure it. It's, 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 a, it's a rare thing, it's a joy to us. So it's a gift to have, to go through at least a period where you have to economize and learn how to really enjoy life. So this candle here, Nature Walk, they say it's creamy sandal walk, bergamot zest, and juniper berries. <laughs> Katie! Hey! Yes, I'm so glad to see you. Seems like I haven't seen you in a while, Katie. Yeah, Bonfire Bash. I, I have it. I love my Bonfire Bash. I was so glad to see it. This Nature Walk, you guys is said to be a repackage of peppered suede. So if you already have peppered suede, and you know there's gonna be several different renditions of peppered suede in the store, don't get caught off the guard by the fact that they say it's sandalwood, bergamot, and juniper. Everybody who's reviewed it says it is peppered suede. Nice try, Bath & Body Works. If you love peppered suede, and a lot of people do, and you like the packaging on Nature Walk, go for it. But if you're thinking it's something brand new, Nature Walk is a repackage of peppered suede. That is what I have been told. If it is not an exact repackage, it's, too, it's close enough for government work, and it will not be getting my $11.95 um, tomorrow. Because... I am not the biggest fan of peppered suede. <laughs> and I thought I would be, but I like peppered plum. So 
The next candle is one that I know I love. It is White Pumpkin. I did a review on White Pumpkin. You can take a look at it. I gave my last White Pumpkin away last year to a friend that I love because I wanted to give her something that I loved. Her name's Kathy, and she lives kind of far from her. So I wanted to give her my best. So I gave her my White Pumpkin. So I'm thinking 99% sure I will pick up a White Pumpkin if it is available for $11.95. Now the next, can oh, let me show you the packaging on that one. It's an older scent. Let me, okay, this is not going well. Why does it have to be so hard sometimes? I was getting it perfect and now, okay, that's the best I can do because my light, so you can see me, is so bright that you, I'm having trouble showing you my candles. And because this one is white, Oh, there it is. That's all I had to do. That's the white pumpkin. I'm not a big fan of this packaging. I like last year's packaging because it had artwork of pumpkins on it. But um, hmm. okay, pink chiffon and and the at an Italian thing. I think any fragrance you really like will be great at the at an Italian thing. But I think if it's this time of year, Bonfire Bash is really, really good. Um, pink Chiffon is nice too. I love Pink Chiffon and I love Bonfire Bash. And they have another one in the store called Pink Velvet that's supposed to smell like a lighter version of Sugar Cranberry Cider. And Sugar Cranberry Cider is too heavy for me right now. But a lighter version might be okay. I probably tend to go to, I like vanilla a lot. And the Bonfire Bash is a smoky vanilla. So that'd probably be what I'd go for, Kathy. Let me know what you're thinking about, though. Let me know. Are you thinking pink chiffon? Because pink chiffon is a cotton candy scent. Pink chiffon. Courtney says pink chiffon. And Kathy, pink chiffon is a cotton candy scent. And cotton candy's always good at a festival. So, yeah, I think she's right. Go with Courtney's choice. Pink chiffon. Pink chiffon, great choice, Courtney. Yeah, okay. So I know I want this white pumpkin. How did I do that? Okay, there it is. I know I want that white pumpkin, even though I don't like the packaging that much. I feel like everything I'm getting now is a white kind of packaging. So my candles are gonna kind of look the same. And that is a spicy cardamom chai candle. Now you guys, here's another one that's new. You guys, I'll tell you up front, I know that the $11.95 candles are probably just going to be a certain ones, but I'm shameless with this. I am going to go in there and pick out whatever the best of what they have is. And, you know. Outdoor. Yeah, Katie, I think the pink chiffon because it's summertime. You're going to smell like cotton candy. You're going to be around a lot of strong scents. I think you're gonna smell delicious in the pink chiffon. I would go with the pink chiffon for an outdoor festival, definitely. So here's the latest new candle that's out. And um, you guys, look at this. That is so pretty to me. Very fall-like, that tree pattern, that, that faux wood grain. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Have a wonderful time. Oh, I just wish I was eating some of that good old Italian food at a festival with you. I love Italian food, especially like meatball sandwiches and all kind of different casseroles. And I made some Italian soup, Italian sausage soup, bootleg Italian soup. I had the zucchini and different things like that, but I had to use some, some, um, What's that? I used some I used some hot dogs. I didn't have any good Italian sausage, so I just put some of my um, Hebrew National hot dogs in there <laughs> and some oregano. Oh, you got a birthday coming up! Happy birthday, Katie! God bless you. That's wonderful. Now the notes on this fall farmhouse is 
spiced pumpkin, forest pine branch. You gonna say it's coming your birthday? You gonna you gonna just leave out when your birthday is, Katie? You know we might want to know when your birthday is over here. You know, um, spiced pumpkin. I'm I'm looking. I don't see any birthday. Okay, forest pine, fresh and fresh fuck. Courtney says, happy birthday, Katie. So, um, this is a pine and pumpkin scent. And they say it's got September 8th. Oh, my goodness. Girl, the big day is coming up. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. You're just a baby. I could have had you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I'm glad to have you on this channel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, girl, 84, you in the prime of life. Have a good time at that festival. Have have the most beautiful time. I remember when I was your age, I used to love to go to outdoor festivals and dance in the sunshine, eat all kinds of stuff, didn't gain any weight. My friends were hippie types. Oh, it was good times. Yeah, enjoy yourself. And um, a lot of people are saying this candle farm, fall farmhouse is a, is a remake of something called Pumpkin Fireside. And that is a candle that was supposed to come out in the rose collection, like a rose fireside. I like fireside scents, and of course I like marshmallow fireside. So I'm strongly leaning towards this fiery crackling fire and roasted pumpkin candle. That sounds like something I would like. And little mini story, I do roast pumpkin. I love roast pumpkin as a food. When you just slice it up and roast it until it caramelizes and it gets a little tinge of fire on it, it is so good. If you are a pumpkin eater, you gotta try it. What you do is wait until after Halloween. All the pumpkins are on sale and just load up the truck. And pumpkins last a long time. I have pumpkins sometimes all the way till February. Love it. I am such a pumpkin eater. So I'm thinking farm fall, fall farmhouse is definitely, along with the um, white pumpkin, those are two that are definitely in my, I would get those if they were $11.95 list. Really prefer a $10 candle sale, but um, I'll take it because I haven't been able to get any candles yet except for one. And um, let's see what we got here. The next one is Apple Weather. And um, let me show you Apple Weather here. It is a dreary gray color, but a lot of people have gray houses and this will look really nice with their decor. I personally, um, I gotta keep my mood uplifted. So I don't really do a lot with gray because um, it kind of depresses me, you know. But this is fresh farmhouse apples, lavender leaves, cinnamon bark, and essential oils. I know of one review on this one from a lady named Southern Comfort. She, she does videos, but she doesn't do reviews. She waits until she use, burns her candle and you can't find it. But thankfully, she's been putting reviews on Instagram. She likes this candle. And she says it, 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 she can smell a little lavender in there. She can smell the apples. And she can smell the cinnamon. So she likes it. She says it's not the fanciest, but she likes it. And um, so... I'm, I'm considering it in that warm apple pie category. If it smells like warm apple pie, but stronger, I would consider it. So I'm not so sure, certain about that one. I like the, the cutouts, but I have cutouts in my blueberry pie candle, and those are nice. So I think I'll just take that off the list for now. We got to be discriminating. Now, the next one, there is a good review on this one, too, from Miss Tina Marie. And this is Fresh Fall Morning. I love that. That beautiful teal green and the gold. I love that packaging. That's really, really a beautiful candle to display, if nothing else. And I think those cutouts in there, you can't tell they're cutouts, but those are cutouts. 
So I think this candle is gonna shine in those cutouts. Um, what are the notes on this one? It is citrus zest, woodland sage, red and red delicious apple. So here we have another apple candle. And um, Tina says she can't smell any apple in there. I smelled it in the store and I could smell like an undertone of apple, but it wasn't a strong apple pie candle or an apple tart or a baked apple. And it wasn't a... Um, Granny Smith apple. It was like an apple compote with spices. You know, it was a nice, sweet candle. She said it reminds her in some ways of like a crisp morning air. It's a fresh candle. And she says it's something that she doesn't relegate to fall that she could see you using all year long. So that's something to consider. So I might just go ahead and give that one a shot. So I'm going to keep that on my maybe list, you know now that they have brought the candles down where I think I might be able to get some. Now the next one is, I'm excited about um, Ballerina Rose. So I have that on my list. I love Rose. Oh, I'm glad, Courtney, I'm glad. Cause you know, you and I, we talk a little bit and I love for you to feel encouraged and your mood to be lifted. Cause you and I, we both have some struggles that we go through, we fight through some health challenges and we gotta stay upbeat and know that God is in control. We gotta, you know, we gotta leave it to Jesus, know that he's got us, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that your mood's lifted. Now this, I love this packaging. This is my favorite packaging. You guys, that looks just like some expensive three and four hundred dollar candles I've seen. So I want these, if nothing else, for decor. I hope they are included in the sale. And this is Ballerina Rose Petals Soft Peony Summer Greenery. Now here's the thing about that. That kind of reminds me of um, like uh, a scent that I already have, Flower Shop, because it says greenery peony and rose. So I wonder if this is very similar to my flower shop candle because I like my flower shop candle. Oh, hey Ty, glad to see you on the live. I'm glad you're relaxed too. We gotta, we gotta stay relaxed. We can't let anything get us down or get us rattled. And if we can help it, we do all get rattled. I was, I was, I was, I was struggling this week, but you know, we gotta get back up and Praise the Lord for life because we can't take it for granted. It's a gift. Walking is a gift. Seeing is a gift. Being in your right mind is a gift. You know, and sometimes we don't have it, but as soon as we get it again, we got to be grateful. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm thinking that Ballerina Rose might be a little bit too close to my flower shop candle. I'll have to see when I go in store. Or it might be close to rose and ivy because that again is a greenery and rose scent. Okay, now the next one is this Parisian rose. Can you see that one? For some reason, I don't like the packaging quite as well as on this one as I do on the ballerina rose. I think that darker pink is much more stately. This is more um, feminine. And to me, that but see how light that is looks a little bit more old lady with that light pink. Now, what are the scents on here? Amber, patchouli. So amber and patchouli is starting out good. I like that. Delicate rose petals, pink pepper. Okay, I love pepper. I love pepper, like I love that pepper plum. So this might be, Parisian rose might be the pepper plum of rose candles. So I think I would like that. So maybe I'll go with the Parisian rose because I love this black packaging with the stately pink label. Pink, 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 pink. I'm so messing with my lighting here. I'm sorry, guys. I just use an iPad. But, um, so that one seems like the one that I'll go for, but I, I prefer the pink color on the Ballerina Rose. So I might just get the Ballerina Rose. I don't know. I'll show you the Ballerina Rose. I think this is so much prettier. I can't get both of them. See that dark pink? That just looks so much more beautiful to me, okay? And I don't know, I gotta get in the store. Maybe in person, they'll both look just as nice. We'll see. Now on to the next one, Wine Cellar. 
I, last year's wine cellar was a bust. I like the wine cellar scent, but last year's wine cellar can, candle was unscented. But this year's wine cellar is on point. And this is kind of like the fall farmhouse. It is a smoky scent. It is, you know, kind of woodsy. They say mulled apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. This year's candle smells like it has oak in it. Even though they say cedar wood, it smells like oak barrels to me. I don't really like the packaging, but it looks like a wine. It looks like something you would find in a wine cellar. It's the color of wine. So I think they did a good job. It's just, you know, I'm a bath and body work shopper. I, I don't really go to wine tastings and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Um, the next one that I like it, I mean, I haven't smelled this one, so I don't even know if it's going to be in the store or not. It's called Black Currant Vanilla. It's in another nice, I love navy. So this is a navy blue jar, and it's Black Currant Vanilla. You guys, I love the Aromatherapy Black Currant Vanilla. So that's what attracted me to this. And it says Black Currant, I love Black Currant, um, Zested Lemon, Creamy vanilla and sandalwood. All the notes sound gorgeous, you know, but um, the reviews are not good. Most people say um, it did. It doesn't smell like the aromatherapy, and people say it didn't do it for them. Other people say it smells good, but their kids hate it. Um, it's heavy on the current. So, but I think I might like that one. Yeah. So, so it's got a lot of reviews where people say it's rich and kids don't like it. And that sounds good to me because you know, kids tend to like things that smell like Play-Doh and foodie scents and sweet scents, um, sticky sweet strawberries and stuff like that, but grown and sexy is not kids thing. So I'm okay with that. Now the next one, it's another rose candle here. Um, and you guys, this is a new rose candle. I love the packaging on that. This is old lady, very, very old fashioned, vintage looking with the cabbage roses, but I love that. And I have the rose body care and I like the rose body care. This is rose water, jasmine petal and creamy musk. Very, very soft, pretty summer scent. I, I'll see if that candle is on sale for the $11.95. If it is, I will definitely consider that. I'm only going to be able to get two or three candles, you guys. So you see my list is long. But you know, I got to go in there and smell. I got to enjoy my shopping experience. I can't just, you know, I don't do online shopping because I am a person. When I spend my money, I'm paying to go into the store. I'm paying to be a shopper. I'm paying to have somebody help me and give me this experience that you get from a sales associate. I'm not willing to give that up to just be sitting around sick in my um, apartment or my house in my room, um, surfing the web, endlessly looking for stuff. You know, that just doesn't, that just doesn't suit me. You know what I'm saying? Another one that I'm considering for this sale, if it comes and it's on sale, you guys, this is a candle that I'm considering. Everybody loves this candle. We all love this candle. This right here is the latest rendition of Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's called Blessed. Is that not gorgeous? And again, you see they do so much white packaging this year. This is gorgeous. It's understated. It's beautiful. Very much in line with the holidays. It'll go with anybody's decor. And it's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And this year, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles smells especially delicious to me. I feel like they amped up the pumpkin note in it. And they amped up the pecan note. And slightly reduced the waffle note. So it's not as strong as it has been in previous years. I really like it. And so I, I want that blessed candle for my decor for the, for the Thanksgiving period. So I'll see if they have those in store. And if they are on sale. The next one is one that I just love to have every year, and it is <laughs> Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. So, I love this packaging for Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I think that is so beautiful. 
And that is, I know everybody's going pumpkin clove crazy, but I'm a sweet cinnamon pumpkin girl. I love sweet cinnamon pumpkin. That to me is, Hi, it's tomorrow. There's a, the rumor is tomorrow there's eleven ninety five candle sale. I don't know what candles are going to be on sale for eleven ninety five, but I'm so excited and I'm on here as you can see, dream shopping in advance. But I'm going to go in store tomorrow, and you know, be able to get two or three candles. Use my ten off thirty coupon and get my three candles for um, uh, twenty six dollars. Yeah, $26. That is like $8.75 a candle. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. And so I don't know which candles they'll have, which ones will be on sale, but I haven't been able to purchase candles in so long because the prices are so high. But Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, for those of you who don't know, is warm cinnamon, fresh ground cloves, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. So it is a spiced candle. It is so beautiful to me. I love this candle. And um, so, but I'm only, you know, when I go in the store, I might get caught up in the new, new. I know I can always get sweet cinnamon pumpkin later. So, I mean, that might not make my list, but it's on the list nonetheless because I know I love it. And if I don't find anything that I like more, she might be coming home for me. Okay, here's another one that is brand new that I just have to consider. I tell you up front, I'm only getting one brown candle. So whatever candle I get in brown, I am not going to have a whole like candle list of these brownies. Oh, you're a sweet cinnamon pumpkin fan too, Courtney, since 2000. It's just perfection. You know, leaves and sweet cinnamon pumpkin, they are, they are um, Bath and Body Works best work, you know, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Those, you, I mean, there are, there's a short list. Okay, Ty, yeah. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten any. I got one candle for summer and I've been stretching it. You know, I, I bought my last candles for candle day. If you see my candle day haul, it was lit. It was crazy. And then I got whatever I could get during the um, summer sale. And I've been giving those candles to people and using them for myself. But I just, I mean, after I went and bought that one candle for $14.50. Oh, I, I did get some candles during the um, SAS because they had a few sales. But I mean, I, when I bought that candle for $14.50 and I had to hand them $20 and after... With tax, I pay $16 for one candle. That should have been two candles. I was like, oh, no. Mm. This won't happen too often. And that was it for me. I mean, I've been looking and everything. Now, this roasted chestnut candle is... Oh, you have pecan waffle bubble bath? Oh, my goodness. I know that's amazing. Oh, I hope they bring that back. That sounds good. I have a bubble bath, but mine is sweet balsam. <laughs> I have tis the season too. Those are those are the two I was able to get last year during the um, SAS. Um, I wanted the pe peppermint one to use in the summer, but I didn't get it. I, you know, it sold out. Everybody had the same idea. The spiced chestnut candle is roasted chestnuts, mulled spices dark rum and barrel age oh you have the balsam too barrel age cider yeah i love that balsam it's it works for the summer the um the the bubble bath it works for the summer you know i smell clean and green and you know that works with any of my summer scents but lately i've been using my in the sun um body wash as my bubble bath so i'll probably do that after this live now, they say the spiced chestnut candle really smells more like um, bourbon maple. So, they say it smells like a maple candle. So, I don't know. I'm going to go in and compare this to Fall Farmhouse because I'm only getting one brown candle. If I like the Fall Farmhouse better, which I think I might, then I may leave the spiced chestnut in the store because I just, I, decor-wise, 
I think the fall farmhouse might be a little prettier. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Those cutouts are nice and everything, but that candle looks a little boring to me. And um, if it's just a maple syrup candle, you know, that's not that exciting and different. And um, let me show you the fall farmhouse. I think it might be a little bit prettier. But I'm definitely not going to get a whole bunch of brown candles. I think that's a little bit more interesting looking. Even though it is essentially a brown candle. So that's my um, dream list right now. Having no idea what is on sale, what is not on sale. If they do me dirty and they only put the dog candles that everybody's giving the poo-poo reviews on sale, I may pick up a few and then immediately without regret exchange them for something else after the, the candle sale is over. Or if they include some of the candles that I like but are not my tops, like say maybe if they have pumpkin pie or um, my sweet cinnamon pumpkin or um, pumpkin clove or something like that included in the candles on sale. I might pick that up, but if they do me dirty and just put peach cobbler, banana cream, and um, PB&J on sale, I might feel some kind of way about that, you know, but I, I want some candles if I can pick them up tomorrow. So, you know, I, I, I try not to do very many exchanges because I feel like that's additional work and they don't make any money off of me doing an exchange. But simultaneously, I'm not coming up with that $14.50 for a candle. It's just not going to happen. I, if that's the way Bath & Body Works wants to do it, I won't get a candle until candle day. So I'll be sitting out the whole season as far as candles concerned. If they want to do me like that, that's just the way it's going to be. Or... If I feel like I'm okay with getting whatever is on sale and being able to exchange it, I'll do that. Or I might just hold out for a $10.50 candle sale on my leaves and my sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Because last year those there was a day where each of those candles was sold for $10.50. So I'm hoping that happens again this year. And on that day, I'll roll in there and... That may be what I have, but I'm really excited about the opportunity for $11.95, and I know I have a 10 off 30 coupon. You know, I'm excited about that too, and, um, you know, I was so jazzed. I had to come in here and tell you guys about it, and, um, you know, I'll let you know how I do, you know. I'll let you know what happens, so I'm rambling now. You know, so um, I'm just going to, I've been on here for 40 minutes talking about candles and um, that's, that's long enough, Connie. But anyway, um, you guys have a blessed day. Be encouraged in the Lord. Look at, we're, we're get us who buy candles when they're in our price range are getting a Bath and Body Works. That is three different candle sales where candles are marked down to a price that we can utilize with a coupon i think there will be more of these coming because god bless you too courtney and i just have to say you guys all this week while i wasn't able to do any lives you guys have been um responding to my um replies to you with god bless you and i'm telling you those prayers have really been going through to god on my behalf and i'm just grateful for them so thank you so much oh my goodness it was so wonderful getting those all those God bless yous from you guys. It was just wonderful. And every one I got, I just felt the blessing of the Lord encouraging me. So I just want to say Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, everybody. And if you don't have the money for this candle sale, don't worry about it, because candle day will come, and everything you want will be there. Amen. Okay? So we're just chatting and enjoying our life. See you next time.